so today we are here to assemble a uh, Battlefront 1100 scale AH-1F Cobra Attack helicopter. Uh, it comes in four sprues, so the first sprue is this one here, uh, which will contain primarily your fuselage sections. The second sprue will hold most of the rest of your model, so it will have things like your landing skids and your weapon systems. The third sprue is a flight stand. And finally, you'll have a sprue that will have your rotor system on it, so your main blades, your tail rotor, and the rotor hub. So the first item to put together is the two fuselage halves, uh, left and right. We just want to keep the glue to a minimum so it doesn't seep out when you join the halves together and create a, a bit of a gluggy mess that you have to clean up afterwards. Get the other side of the fuselage and put it together so that everything lines up. And as you'll see now, we have the fuselage together, just a little, little uh, push on uh, each part as it goes together just to ensure everything locks in nice and tight, uh, as it has done here. Uh, it will do pretty much every time on these kits, they're very good. Um, the next part to, to uh, put on the kit in order to uh, make it go together well is the top part of the canopy, which is this part here. Uh, and again, uh, just a little bit, little bit of glue just on the internal runners here. Just enough to make the part seat in and it will lock tight at the end. Right. <clears throat> so a little bit of glue in there. Then uh, get this part so that the smallest section on the angles is to the bottom like that and then we put it in place uh, as you'll see it just well, as you have seen right there it just drops right into place and with that we actually have the fuselage of the Cobra put together and uh, it really is that simple what I will do next is attach the two uh, table mounted stabilizers which are these two small parts here, uh, and they fit at the back. They do have, if I hold that up to the camera, you'll see a slight curve um, over the, the section and it will be flat along the bottom. Um, like most wings, if we go flat along the bottom and the curve to the top, uh, that will be the correct orientation. So again, just a little dab of glue there. Fit that into this slot here at the back. Like that. What we want to ensure is that the stabilizer is horizontal to the ground as it is there. And I'm just attach the other stabilizer on. on the other side very much like the first one and again just ensure that it is horizontal to the ground like that you have a good cross section on the back of the tail the next part that I attach um, when I'm assembling this model is the uh, two winglets that hold the weapons which I just put that part there is this piece here and I'll just get the other one so that I can hold it up to the camera a little bit more is that part there um, they have a specific orientation to the side and the best way to figure that out is the the flat end here is the bit that goes to the outside 
um, and the angled section goes to the front. Again, the positions for these are very easy to see. It's, it's these parts here. You'll even see that it's got the shape. It makes it very simple to put together. Again, this item should be horizontal to the ground. So if you line it up on your tower wings, um, although you'll find that with the way that this part fits, it will fit straight in and get the air, you're good to go. And I'll just attach the other side. And with that, you'll see that we have most of the Cobra already put together. Um, we have the fuselage, we have the table stabilizers, and we have the small wings that hold the weapons. Um, at this point, what I'd like to do is start to add the magnets for the flight stand and the rotor system. Uh, these are the magnets here. Um, a quick tip with these is to mark them off so you get the same polarity across. Uh, and those items fit in there. So that is one to attach the main rotor. On the underside is a space for a magnet for your flight stand. When you assemble your flight stand, um, what will happen is you will attach a magnet into here, which will obviously seat the helicopter to the flight stand. And on the rotor hub, uh, you put it on the bottom. So the rotor hub is this item here, and the magnet sits there. So I'll just quickly super glue those items into place, and you'll see me mark out the magnets for polarity. So this model will take four, uh, and those come with the model. Four magnets lined up, and I'm just going to grab a marker pen and just put a dot on each magnet so I know which end the polarity is going to. A little bit of super glue. In there, and put the first magnet into place. So you'll see that magnet seated in there. And the same thing on the inside. see that magnet in place as well. So I'm just, just using the toothpick to help seat the magnet better. So as you'll see, the magnet on the other side and the magnet on the top side. Uh, as I say, I like to, to do all the magnetizing at once. Uh, it helps me keep just fresh in my own mind which direction to put everything in. So as you'll see on here, there is no marking on that magnet, which means that when I magnetize the top of the flight stand, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to have my marking facing up so that they will join together as opposed to a pallet chiller. And there you'll see the magnet in place. And then on the rotor hub, which is this part here, um, you'll see on the top that there is a mark on that magnet. So that means when I attach the magnet to the rotor hub, I'm going to put the mark on the inside so I can't see it after it's glued in place. So the next item that I attach the model itself is going to be the uh, three barrel 20 millimeter cannon, which is this item here. And that fits into this area. So again, just a small dab of glue. And uh, this gun is on a mount that allows it to aim to the left and right as well as up and down in orientation, but I always seem to glue them straight forward, much like that. We'll come to the landing skids next, which are these items here. So that's one side and that's the other side. They um, 
completely really fit to one side or the other. You'll see that the legs that support the skid are curved, uh, and that curve goes into the aircraft, so this one is the left-hand skid. These items uh, do take a little bit of time to set, so when you attach them, one of the things you will need to, to do is to prop your model up just for a few minutes whilst the glue cures and sets everything in place just to ensure that they don't droop too far. Um, and you'll see here that what you want is for the skid at the bottom to actually end up so that it would sit flat. Excuse me for just one moment while I attach the other one. Much like that. So what I'm going to do now is just set the uh, the helicopter model itself aside and start to assemble the weapons. Um, now. At this stage, a helpful tip, or at least the tip that I tend to go with, is that um, for something with this many different angles, I'll tend to leave the weapons off. Uh, they would attach to these points under the wings. You'll see them clearly marked. Um, I tend to leave them off until after painting. It just makes getting into these little nooks and crannies a little bit easier. 